Hello guys, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Runs Profits. And if you guys wanted to download free After Effects template, just visit my channel, go to Shorts, click it, and find whatever templates you want to have. For example, this one. If you want this kind of template, all you have to do is to click these three dots go to the description since you can't see here the link all you have to do is to copy this title then open a browser paste it press enter so just click on it and here you can see the template now if you want to download it, just go to the description box, show it more, click here to download. Click this link and you can see, create a download link. Click here again. So as you can see here, it will download it for you. This is how you download using laptop or desktop, okay? So without any further ado, we will now jump into After Effects. I will start by showing you guys how to import a footage using image sequences. So highlight this footage, go to file, import, file. I will show you the image sequence folder. Open it up, choose this first image. Make sure that the PNG sequence is checked, then click import. Then I will right click my mouse and rename it. Particles. Then I like these footages, drag it into the composition icon. Make sure that the multiple compositions is checked. Click OK. Then create a new composition. Name it logo placeholder. One thousand five hundred by one thousand five hundred pixels. Thirty frames per second and the duration is twelve seconds. Click OK. Then open this logo folder, drop down this logo image into the timeline. Press on your keyboard for the scale, change the scale to 25%. If your logo has a different size, make sure that the logo that you have is almost the same size as this. Make sure to highlight this layer, go to effects and preset, go to perspective, add bevel alpha. Change the edge thickness here to 20. Then go to composition, create a new composition. Name it fractal math. Change the width to 1920. And the height 1080p. Frame rate 30, 12 seconds duration, click OK. Then go back to your project panel, open it up, drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline. Go to layer, create a new solid. Name it Fractal. Make it comb size. Click OK. Make sure that this fractal layer is highlighted. Go to effects and preset. Go to noise and grain. Add fractal noise. Set the contrast here to 608. The brightness change this to negative 317. 
then move forward your player to 15 frames duration create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the brightness move forward your playhead to 7 seconds duration and change the brightness to 333 so as you can see it's all completely white now go to track mat and change this to luma mat as you can see so now I will go to composition and create a new composition I will name it logo mat same 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration click ok then go to project panel drop down this fractal mat into the timeline here you don't have to do anything just go to composition create a new composition i will name it logo mat comp nineteen twenty by 1080p 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration click ok go to your project panel drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline go to edit duplicate it i will disable the visibility of the logo placeholder below make sure that this logo placeholder above is highlighted go to effects and preset go to simulation add cc particle systems to change the birth rate here to 207 longevity change this to 1.6 Open producer, change the radius x to 0, the radius y, change this to 15, expand physics, change the animation type from explosive to trolley, velocity, change this to negative 22.1, gravity, change this to negative 3.3, .3. resistance is 191.1. Open particle. Change the particle type to faded sphere and then the bird size set it to 0 0.04. The dead size change this to 0 0.05. The opacity map change this to fading out. Check the source alpha inheritance. Change the birth color here to grayish. Click OK. And also the death color. Then go to effects and preset, go to distort, add turbulent displays, change the complexity here to 1.5. Then go to evolution, press your keyboard alt and hold it while clicking the stopwatch on the evolution to create an expression. Type open parenthesis 1 times 50. Close parenthesis. Then enable the visibility of this logo placeholder below. Change the track mat here to alpha mat. See, there's a particles along the logo. So all we have to do is to go back to our project panel and highlight this logo mat. Drop it down into the timeline. Then I will move my player to the 2 seconds duration. Highlight both these layers and press open bracket key to move that layers. So let's see. I just change this to half. So you can see the small particles in here. Now go to composition, create a new composition. Name it medium. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second. 12 seconds duration, click OK. I will highlight this logo mat comp, drop it down into the timeline. The fractal mat, I will drop it down into the timeline. Now go back to your project panel and drop down this particles comp into the timeline. Go to effects, color correction, choose dry tone. Pick the color picker here and change the highlights to this color. And this mid tones, I will change this to grayish. And the shadows, I will change it to this color. Now go to edit and duplicate the effects. Then I will change the color on the tritone above to this color. 
the mid tones, I will change it to this color too. Make sure that this is highlighted and duplicated. Move your blade backwards to 15 frames. Press open bucket key to move that layer. Move forward your playhead to about 7 seconds duration just to see the logo. Change to highlight here red. Then again, go to particles comp. Make sure that this is highlighted. Go to edit and duplicate it. Move your playhead backwards to 1 second duration. Press open bucket key to move that layer. Then move forward again your playhead to see the logo and change the highlights here to this color. Now go back your playhead to the one second duration. Highlight both of these compositions. Press open bucket key to move those layers. Then go to composition, create a new composition, name it main. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration, click OK. Go to project panel, highlight this medium, drop it down into the timeline. Go to layer, create a new solid, I'll just name it BG, make it composite. Click OK, I will drag it down just below the medium, then go to effects and preset, go to generate, add gradient trump. Change the ramp shape here to radial. Swap the colors. Change the start color here from white to gray. I will just type the code 1C, 1C, 1C. Click OK. Then I will highlight this medium. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize CC burn film. Then move forward my play to about 9 seconds duration. Create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the burn. Move forward my playhead to the 12 seconds duration. Then increase the burn to about like this. Then open the project panel. Drop this particles BG into the timeline. Just like that. Change the blending mode here to add. Then I will highlight this medium. Go to edit. Duplicate it. Highlight the medium below. Press this on your keyboard for the scale. Disable the proportion. Go to layer. Go to transform. Transform it vertical. I'll just move forward my playhead to see the logo. Shift P for the position. Drag it down like that. Change the Y position here. Like this. Then maybe I will go to effects and preset. Go to Blur and Sharpen, Fastbox Blur, change the iteration to 1, check the repeat edge pixels and the blur radius, crank it up, then go to effects and preset, go to color correction, apply tint, change the amount tint to 50%, go back to the project panel, Drop down this dust mode into the timeline. Press T on your keyboard for the opacity. Change the opacity here to 30%. Change the blending mode here to add. Now go to your project panel, open the sound effects and drop it down into the timeline. Then go to composition, create a new composition. Name it file 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration, click OK. Then I will drag this main into the timeline. Then render it. If you guys wanted to have a free After Effects template, just go to my channel, click on the shorts, and browse whatever template you want according to your choice. It's free. So guys, we are done with our tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment or even share it to your friends. And to support my channel, don't forget to give me some super likes if you want to. And my thoughts for today guys is that remember that you are responsible to your actions regardless of what you feel. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next upload. God bless.